Hey friends, welcome. In this video, we're going to sort out crushing latency in Ableton Live for once and for all with the use of direct monitoring. Now latency is that annoying kind of echo or delay to your vocal or your instrument through Ableton Live. You plug it in, you arm your track and you play it and it feels like it's echoing or it's a second behind. It's very distracting, it makes it very hard to play your instrument so can ruin your performance. So we can combat that with the use of directly monitoring from our audio interface. So what that means is we hear the audio before it goes through something called the analog to digital conversion. That's where the latency happens. That's when we convert this audio signal into a digital code into Ableton and then back out again. There inherently is a slight bit of latency. Now, depending on the quality of your audio interface and your computer spec, that latency can be small or large. Also depends on how many plugins and audio effects you're running in your Ableton Live session as well. That can also increase the latency when you're trying to record within Ableton Live. Now there's the obvious setting to increase or decrease your buffer size. If you want to reduce the latency, you decrease it as much as possible, but that's where your computer could start dying and crying and you get crackles and pops. One big problem with direct monitoring is you don't get all the processing from your Ableton Live sessions, such as reverb and delay. But don't worry, I've got you. I've got a trick. If you stick around to the end, I'll show you how to do that. So let's jump into Ableton and look at how we can set up this direct monitoring system to combat this latency. Okay, so I'm in Ableton Live. First, I'm going to check my audio preferences by pressing Command, Comma, or Control, Comma on a Mac. And then just going to check that I have my audio interface as the input. Close that down. I'm then going to go over to my track make sure I have the correct input selected. So exit in and the correct channel that I have my mic on. Then I'm gonna select my monitor to off and I'm gonna arm the track. Once you've done that, you'll see there's some gray volume here. And if you haven't set up direct monitoring on your audio interface, you will not be able to hear anything just yet. What you would normally do is you would normally press auto. So what we need to do is turn this direct monitoring on. Now how we do this depends on what audio interface you have. Now some audio interfaces have a button on the front that says direct monitoring or a dial that you can turn up. This can be found on Focusrite audio interfaces and others like that. If your audio interface does not have an, a button or a dial to, to twist to engage it, don't worry. If you go to the manufacturer's website and download a piece of control software, you'll have the option to do it there. I'm going to demonstrate with audience control software because that's my audio interface I'm using. The, the idea would be the same, but the buttons might be in different places depending on what piece of software you're using for, for different audio interfaces. So I'm going to click here to this audience, and this is the interface here. So basically I have a, a fader here. It'll be a similar setup for different kind of pieces of software. So if I turn this down and then I monitor it through Ableton here. So if I do this, hello, you can hear me through Ableton. And that's how we would monitor through Ableton. Now, if I have them both on, it will sound awful. Hello, hello, hello. 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 You, you can, can hear, hear there's, there's a notable, notable echo. echo. There was my directly monitored voice, and then you heard my monitored voice, which was slightly delayed, giving that echo effect. And that's the annoying latency that we want to combat. By turning the direct monitoring on, we have now done it. So you're now hearing your voice directly from your audio interface, not through Ableton Live, and this means there's zero latency. So now we can go ahead and record, and we'll capture that and play it back, and we've got rid of the latency. Welcome to zero latency. Welcome to zero latency. Welcome to... Fantastic. Now, the problem, we love reverb on vocals and we love effects on our instruments. So how do we do that and have this direct monitoring system going on? Well, don't worry. What we can do is turn this fader all the way down, set this to auto. So basically now we're monitoring through Ableton Live, but we're not hearing it back because we've turned the output fader all the way down. And what we're going to do is we're going to send some audio to the return tracks. Now they're not sending at the moment because they're in something called post fader which basically means this fader here dictates how much is sent to this before it sends to here. But we can switch it to pre-fader. Hello. So now, so now we, we have, have my directly, directly monitored, monitored voice, voice going to, this, going to this, channel, this channel, being sent to the reverb and delay pre-fader. So we can turn that down. So we get our effects. With, with zero, zero latency. latency. Okay, I hope you found that video helpful and it got rid of your annoying latency. If you enjoyed this, you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me build this channel and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.